tissue given as a biopsy needs to be preserved for laboratory testing. These tests are done to help reach an accurate diagnosis. For some tests, the pathologist will take thin slices of a biopsy, stain the normally transparent tissue to make structures visible, and view them under a microscope. They look for cancer and any characteristics that can provide more information about how it might behave. Looking at DNA from the tissue can also reveal precise details about the type of disease and, for example, how it might respond to different drugs. One way to preserve tissue for these tests is to immerse it in a liquid called formalin, which is diluted formaldehyde. Formalin fixes tissue by gluing together all the different proteins of DNA inside a cell, also called chemical crosslinking. This is ideal for cutting thin slices for microscopy, but crosslinking DNA and proteins together makes it difficult to isolate DNA strands for sequencing. Extracting crosslinked DNA can break and damage the DNA strands, which leads to inaccuracies and errors in the DNA sequencing. But there are other ways of preserving tissue biopsies that are kinder to the DNA. One is to quickly freeze them. Inside frozen tissue, the proteins and DNA are also fixed in place, but we're still able to sequence the DNA. Because freezing doesn't introduce additional damage to the genome, it gives us the best conditions to be able to read the DNA sequence. So, if your clinicians are taking a sample of your tissue for DNA sequencing, be sure to ask them to freeze some as well as fixing some in formalin. This way we allow for a range of tests to find the most accurate diagnosis and best treatment options.